why is security such you know it's becoming important for you i mean it's important right i mean one thing is linux runs the world right so we want to make sure that things are secure like your device you have your whole life history on your phone right contact information all this stuff you want to make sure that that's secure that that's something that you can trust that you can trust that other people don't grab i mean you have access to your bank account on your phone right i mean so the basic underlying building blocks of what those things rely on you want to make sure are secure and i said earlier with linus i think it's also a matter of education people are more aware of this but it's also a matter of a combination that that awareness combined with um, reliance or use of this technology in the world it's taking over and yeah, that's true you know the whole world is running on you know linux and open source technology but at the same time there are so many layers yeah so which one of those is the one that you get you know the most mad and angry you know so the whole specter meltdown problem um, what made us so mad in a way is we were fixing a bug in somebody else's layer right i mean taking ownership of our own problem is great um, we have security bugs or problems will fix them but when we have to fix the problems of hardware or other issues it's frustrating at times right um now the goal of a kernel is to paper over all the bugs in the hardware um it's just that usually the bug isn't in the cpu um i write drivers so we're always working around drivers issues it's fun if you write read device driver code there's sometimes like one famous line is like do this do it again hope it is going to really work the third time it's going to try it it works so i mean it's stuck right um so that's working around bugs in hardware um but now the bugs in the processors one also interesting thing about the whole spot of meltdown is the complexity of that black box of a cpu is much much larger than it used to be right because they're doing in order to eke out all the performance and all the neat things like that you have to do extra special tricks and things like that and they have been and sometimes those tricks come back to bite you in the butt and they have in this case so we have to work around that um but every single layer of the stack silicon all the way up there are issues and you have to be aware of you only can focus on your issues right so i focus on what the kernel can do and as long as we can make that layer the best we possibly can add additional securities and additional layers will be good do you think that things are getting better now people say oh things will get worse before they get better things are getting better yeah all the time so um we're doing more and more testing more and more builds so so problem a big problem with the last round of security patches that we had is we worked on them on our own for four months and then we pushed them out to the world because we got our embargoed and then we found all the problems with those because when it hit real world testing and it made us realize how good and how much we've relied on the infrastructure that we have built up over the past years to do this testing and to make sure that we don't have bugs before they hit other people and so when you're forced to remove yourself from those old those things that you relied on you realize we've gotten a lot better we're doing more testing so there's a really cool project from a number of google engineers called the syz bot so it's a fuzzer so it goes and it exercises the kernel and it uh tries to tweak parameters to it and send bad data to it and um I saw a presentation by one of the developers the presentation was the world is on fire and from his point of view he's finding hundreds and hundreds of bugs in the kernel and it's like what is going on and because we rely on this and everything and i i get to step back and remember um the kernel as is works really really well but when you start exercising the crazy paths and the crazy paths and the crazy paths and the other weird stuff the, the fringe of the whole thing there's problems and there's always problems but now we're testing them and we're finding them and his layer is like he we fix all the bugs on one layer or one wrapper and then his tool can go one level deeper and then we find more bugs and then we find the fix of those and then he goes one level deeper and we find more bugs down there but we would have never found those last level bugs because nobody would have ever exercised those paths unless we fixed the levels up above so as we get deeper and deeper in the stacks and figuring it out we're finding more and more bugs which is better we're finding things that have always been there just no way has ever exercised those code paths in the kernel otherwise it would have crashed and we wouldn't have noticed it so um or it just wouldn't have gotten there so the testing and development effort that's going on is better than it ever has and it's finding lots of problems but that's not to say that the world is on fire it's just that we're doing really really good at finding problems exactly yeah. <laughs> and some of the cool stuff they're doing is like we're adding So I watch all the patches that go into the kernel to find out what they go into the stable kernel. So we've been adding a bunch of new networking um protocols and new stuff has been coming out in networking stack. And these these developers, these testers are finding and fuzzing these network stacks that are being added to the kernel before they get into real release. So you see the patches go in, you'll see a whole bunch of bug fixes that go in, which is great because traditionally those bugs would have never even been caught 
until years and years later when they're in production and stuff like that. So this infrastructure we have is catching things at an earlier stage because it's there, which is awesome to see. So you look at all the bugs they're fixing, but it's like, wait, you're fixing bugs of code that was added last week and nobody ever else saw at all. So our infrastructure of this testing and validation and fuzzing is getting really well, really good.